because it's so badly decomposed and that's happened quite a lot yeah you know to the point where some of the bodies are missing so the skin's off um, Welcome to another episode of Are You Dying to Know? Because Trisha's dying to know. I am. What is going on with you? <laughs> oh. It's been a long day. It's Friday afternoon here as we're filming this, and I think this one sniffed a few too many chemicals through the week. Yeah, it's like, it's like, oh. It is not. <laughs> as if. You should see this place. It's like everything's packed away with military precision. Obviously, we are in the mortuary again. Yeah. And it has a place for everything. Every tool has its place. Oh, sorry. Every instrument has its, its place. place. I'm very impressed. Everything's got a little hook or a nook or a drawer, and all the drawers are lined with towels, and they're all laid out. All the instruments are laid out. It's amazing. This woman could be a serial killer. Ooh. Anyway, we anyway, digress. Today, what are we talking about, Trace? I thought we'll do just a quickie on uh, this machine here. Mm. Mm. What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm sure most people should know what this machine is. It's um, it's an airbrush machine. It's just your stock standard artist version. It is. Um, and it's not to do art. Well, I suppose it is to do artwork. Human art. It's human art. Yeah. So this airbrush machine... If uh, anybody hasn't seen how they work, it's pretty easy. It has a tube where colour. We have some colours here. Skin colours. They're, they're all skin colours and we have other mixtures and other colours um, so you can match to... The... Is that foundation or paint? It's foundation. It is actual foundation. It is foundation. It's probably... It's, it's, it's like you in Hollywood. Ah. It's what the word you use in Hollywood for your, ah. you know, so my deceased squire, look, they might, they've just been in a Hollywood movie. Not that, not that. They look no. lovely, they look lovely, and, yeah, it's all very natural, it's not like that, it's all very natural. So yeah, okay, so anyway, how does it work? It's real maple, so you would put your mixture in here, you would match the tone, how do you water it down? Yeah, you would water it down, because you only need tiny, tiny little bits of droplets of this, it's very concentrated. Mm -hmm. Is that special mortuary stuff or is it actually just makeup? It's just people? actual makeup okay. that, um, that airbrush that me and you can use as well. Okay. I often think of maybe it's on the night that we should take it home and try it. Airbrush yeah. ourselves. We look like professional. Oh, we are professional. I'd like to see me try and airbrush your makeup on your face. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> we should do that one day. We should do. Amateur should do. airbrushes body. Yeah, anyway. Should. Yes. Anyway. I don't use this on every person I prep, I normally just use normal, as we showed before in demonstrations, just normal makeup and makeup brushes. I'll link to a video that shows you that. Yeah. The reason I would use this machine um, is for decompositions, badly decomposed and severe skin slip. So we can't touch the skin. So basically once we've treated the body um, for skin slip or the person's really badly decomposed and family insist on seeing, We'll uh, do the treatment, what we need to do, and then we'll cosmetize with an airbrush because when you touch decomposed skin, it just peels off. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to touch it anymore. So basically, we'll use an airbrush, and that's a simple machine like this. It has a valve on, a pressure gauge. I'll switch it on, it might be noisy. Oh, can you hear that? It has a valve, switch up and down. And basically what you do, you probably not see it. So you spray it. It's got a bit of glue. And you go over the face. Mm -hmm. Just cover the face. Um, with the machine. I'm, you would do the base, the foundation, and also with different pressures, you would add different colours to do maybe some eyeshadow and lip colour also. Yeah. So it's um it's it's quite a simple machine to, to use and it's like, like I say, it's an artist's airbrush machine um, which you can get in any art shop. And I guess it's less is more, kind of build it up slowly situation. Yeah, you would start really, really slowly and you tend to find when you've got someone else so severely decomposed, if you try and over-cosmetise, it looks 
worse than actually seeing the decomposed body. Really? Yeah, it actually starts to look really bad. So what you want is just a fine covering of, um, you know, you'll start off really lightly and, and then build up if you think you need more. But basically, light co covering and like I say, less is more and it's just probably to tone down a lot of that uh, nasties. But, you know, we nasties just... Nasties that are black and green Black, color. green, uh, and I'm talking severe decomposition when families insist. These are, um, these are viewings I recommend not to have, but this is when families insist that they want to have that viewing, which isn't, you know, they're right totally, they're right, and I think, you know, I do try and tell them no, but if that was to happen, then we try our best to make that experience less traumatic for the family. So basically that's it. It's uh, simple, easy, and we use it just like we do in art world anyway. So there's actually been situations, hasn't there, where um, the person is so far decomposed, yet the family still wants to view them, that, that you actually would cover parts of their body and only expose certain parts of their body? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, because it's so badly decomposed, and that's happened quite a lot, yeah. You know, to the point where some of the bodies are missing, the, so the skin's off, um, and even the face sometimes, um, when we've had severe, um, where the family insists on saying, we've put over like a net across the top of the coffin. So what we're doing is like a the gauze fabric. Yeah, like, yeah, basically a fabric to go across. So it tries to soften, soften that view down uh, and not be severe. And obviously you talk to them all before they go oh, in, they always. sign a waiver. Yeah. You yeah, say that you've recommended they don't view in that situation. Yeah, because I think it can trigger um, a traumatic event and I think that could stay with them as instead of your last memory. But I understand why people want viewings of a certain death and all of that kind of thing and it, it is traumatic um, and I get I get that they want to say them but really I would strongly recommend not viewing. Sometimes it's not a good idea. Yeah it's not a good idea. Believe me sometimes it's not. So we get the little miracle machine in a call which uh, I use now and again. Not not often like I say it's not an everyday machine I use it's because natural makeup that we use every day is better than because sometimes this kind of stuff can still look a bit too false. Yeah. You know, I'm all about natural and blending and, yeah, yeah. and making it look totally yeah. natural. I don't want a little old Betty that's 100 years old looking like she's out on the town. Or that nightclub in, in the 80s, you know, so it's like, you know, we'll leave that as false. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it. Airbrush machine. Yeah, it's cool. Little airbrush machine. One of the instruments of the mortuary. Yes. Um, but we've got exciting stuff coming up uh, in the next few months, haven't we? Mm. We've yep. got a lot happening. We've yep. got a lot of things going on. Um, some of the questions you've asked a while ago about uh, cultures, we're going to answer soon. Yep. Yeah, so different cultures and um, all of that kind of stuff. So watch this space, it's all coming very soon. And if you haven't subscribed, do so. Hit the yes. bell icon so you don't yes. when we drop a video. Yep, yep. And um, stay safe, people. We'll see you next time. Yeah, see you next time. Bye. Bye.